Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team, making the watch list here for uh, Tuesday, April 10th. Long time no talk. I uh, was off last week, went to see a friend in Nashville, came back in the market still doing the same old bonker stuff, so I didn't miss much. Um, and you guys didn't really miss much because, as you can see, this is just a mess, right? Um, so a lot of people, you know, wonder, how do you trade a mess like this, right? Well, first of all, a lot of times when you're trading, you don't, you know, there's going to be many times when you're trading that you're just going to want to sit back and not trade at all, right? Sometimes that's the hardest thing to tell somebody is like, don't trade, right? When a market's not either going up or it's going down, it's trading sideways, it gets choppy, especially in between moving average lines like this, it gets very difficult to trade. Um, so you can do one of a few things is uh, one, don't trade at all. Um, cause you can't lose money if you don't trade. Um, <clears throat> another thing you could do is option spreads, right? Um, so that's another, you know, safer method, uh, to trade. But then really at this point, it's more about day trading. Um, so when it gets messy like this, it's tough holding something more than a day until this market chooses either a direction up or a direction down. So basically don't trade trade spreads or day trade, right? Swing trading, it, I mean, this is so hard. So hard to trade just, you know, regular calls and puts or just buying and selling for a few days because you're just, it's hard, right? So you look at all this choppiness right over here and over here, it's just really hard to trade it. Uh, so if you look here, it doesn't look very good for the market because it's pretty much caught in this, uh, let me go to the hourly here, see if it's, it's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I can kind of do one here. Let's see. You can kind of see a, let me just extend the drawings here. I'm making the videos for you guys and all these candlesticks. So I have to, uh, I've been adjusting my, um, to drawing tools, right? To stop, um, <clears throat> you'll see what I'm going to do for you guys, uh, that, uh, we're still putting out a bunch of these candlestick videos, so we're not done with them yet. I still probably have another 20 or so to go. Uh, as you see, the, in the end, there'll probably be about 60 candlestick videos uh, for the course. There's gonna be two courses, uh, but we're going to be putting in pictures as well. Uh, so as you'll see, when I'm making these videos, uh, if you haven't been over to our YouTube yet, you'll see over here under videos, <clears throat> right over here, right? You'll see a whole bunch of them. But in each video, you'll notice I'm not telling you where you would buy and where you would sell. And that's obviously done on purpose uh, because we're going to do, after this is all over, we're going to put together uh, some pictures um, and we're going to have them into uh, an ebook. So we're going to do an ebook for you guys. Anyone that's a paid member will have access to an ebook that's going to show your entries and exits. And then I'm also going to attempt um, to. Uh, we have a friend of ours, actually an artist, um, looking to see if he's going to put together a computer desktop wallpaper with all this. So you guys, ideally, in the end of all this, you'll have all the videos like this. You'll have entries and exits, an ebook, and then on top of that, uh, probably a desktop wallpaper. Probably two of them, because um, I don't think we'll be able to fit them all into one. Uh, for basically putting all of this together for these candlesticks. Because again, candlesticks are the absolute name to the game uh, when trading. But as you can see, these patterns become very difficult to trade when you get really choppy, like this kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> and if you look over here, you'll see here, kind of when I put it down here, you'll see kind of like a descending triangle, right? Right down here. So lower highs and multiple touches of a base down here and kind of forming down here. So you'll see it's kind of a descending triangle. It's not good. It keeps getting rejected at this angular momentum. So from what it looks like, it looks like this thing is uh, continuing to head further down. But we got to watch and see. Here's the support. And then as you can see on the daily, just lots of overhead resistance. Just rejected off the FIB level around 2650-ish today. Um, so, got to keep watching, but, uh, yeah, it's all patterns, support, resistance, and, um, when a market trades like this, it's very, very difficult to trade. You don't want to ever just trade just to trade.
So basically, uh, stay tuned over the next couple weeks. We're going to keep um, <clears throat> putting out these um, candlestick videos until they're complete. I'll uh, be doing um, the watch list videos probably two, three times a week as well. And uh, we're going to get you, if you're worried about um, whether, uh, what you call it, you're going to know how to trade them and entries and exits. We're going to have that all set for you. So basically, if you're a member, you're not going to have to pay anything extra for that. All that stuff will be included over the coming weeks. It's going to take some time because we don't like to put out crap. So um, <clears throat> I want to have my buddy do it. Good artist who does all of our stuff and kind of make it where it's not like cheap looking, but just kind of looks really nice for you guys. So uh, stay tuned. So let's get into the watch list for tomorrow. Let's see if there's anything good to trade. Uh, obviously, this inverted hammer is just, I mean, it's not looking good, but it's like an inverted hammer, almost bullish golfing inverted hammer right smack between EMAs. <laughs> it's so difficult to trade that. Um, so we'll have to see if there's going to be anything good to look for. Um, sometimes, again, when you get caught like this, um, you don't know whether... You know, to play the bullish or the bearish side of things. I mean, obviously, it looks like right now we want to play more of the bearish side of things. But this is where you'll start to get maybe more candles like this, like these indecision candles uh, right near, um, you know, moving average lines, which makes it kind of difficult to trade. We ideally want to see something that's either really holding its highs or holding its lows and has room to the EMAs, whether it's room to the upside to the EMAs or room to the downside, right? If there's not much room to the moving average lines, it can be very difficult um, to trade. So this one right here, 61 cents, it's been, is the 9 EMA. It doesn't have much room. It is, I mean, it's just pretty much fading in a downtrend. Might have a chance to pop up, but it's not like that much room to run. So, well, let me see. Look, let me look at the hourly here. Uh, on the hourly... It actually might have some room. It looks like it's trying to get above that 50 SMA. Has some room. Let me just go here. Get my drawing tool. Where is that? Um, might have a little bit of room to run. <clears throat> Maybe potentially 10 cents or so before it hits some resistance if it does go. You'll see it's kind of smack dab right in the middle of that channel there. We could even kind of say it's down like to this area here, right? So it's kind of right in the middle of a channel. Might have a pop up. You can see it might go, where is that? 60, eh, it's like 63, or that's, eh, it's not that much that it can, I'm, I might put it down here for, am I going to put it down here? Do I like it enough? Got to re... Eh, I don't know. I don't really like it. I'm not going to put it on there. That's a technical analysis lesson for you, though. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at this one. That one's got a little bit of potential to run. <clears throat> Let's see here. It's hard to zoom in and out of this one here. 76 cents. Let's see here. Up to 75. It's got some room to potentially run up to around 75 cents. So let me see here. Create alert at or above. I'll just put 63 cents. <clears throat> Watch for potential continuation with resistance around 75 cents. All right. See, like, probably right around this area right here, right just above, right around 75. Um... All right, so let's A Y T U. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's go to here daily. Um, 
It still could potentially move up towards 80 cents. Don't really like that one, though. This one might be a little bit better. Let's go to the hourly. And up to 78. Not too much. Like, I don't like to put that one on because it's, you know, it's already at 70 cents, right up to even 78. That's really only 8 cents, so it's not that much room to run. So, not going to put that one on. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. There is a cross over there. Don't really like that pattern, though. No. Nope. Oops. See, just very choppy looking. <clears throat> Tough to trade in a market like this. PTN is getting pumped up. I have a feeling I know who's pumping that stock. <laughs> There's an infamous pumper that's around of the stock PTM, so very be very careful of it. Um, this one might be one to look at. UEC, it's above the moving average lines. Um, so I'd be careful of 150. Let's go back over here to the hourly. 156 area. If it can get above 156, it might have some room to run up to potentially up to two bucks. <clears throat> so what is this one? UEC. If it can break above 148. Watch if price can get above 1.56-ish. And if so, room to run to $2. <coughs> so if it can get above this area right over here, it has a chance to move up to 2. Obviously, there's resistance all through in here, but it's above the moving average lines on the hourly has a chance to move up. Um, as you can see, it's also above the moving average lines on the daily as well. So UEC. All right. No. Hmm. That one might have some room. FUSC. Let's go to the hourly. So I would look right at that $2 range. <clears throat> so this one might have some room to run up to $2, kind of an inverse head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, kind of a baseline right here. All right, kind of have a base. Um, so it still has some room to run up to $2 potentially. So. Let's put 178 at or above 178. Put uh, inverse head and shoulders on one hour. Room to run up to two dollars if continues I always got to say if and potential just because to be protecting y'all right because you never know what the market's gonna do F U S Z oh boy good old tops this piece of garbage what a piece of garbage how do you trade this, right? Look at this. It's just you can't even see. <laughs> um, no. So INSG. Let me zoom in on this one here. Uh, it's hard to trade this. Well, look at all these wicks, right? <clears throat> Tons of wicks everywhere. Very easy to get trapped in something like that one. Kind of overextended on the hourly. Not going to put that one on. 
meat. Um, hmm. Still kind of have like that flag, that triangle flag pattern. I did reject right below that to right below the 50 today. See on the hourly, it looks like it's both flagging potentially there. So that one might have a shot to go. So you can see that kind of like that flag pattern there. Um, let's see what would be the next area. 250. 250 has some resistance. Um, definitely $3. So <clears throat> it is flagging, might have some room to run up, watch 250 if 250 can break, or price can get about 250, then watch up to $3. Um, so it is a little bit overextended on the hourly, but keep an eye on this flag. It is a potential flag pattern. So we will put, what is that, 231. Flagging on one hour and <coughs> five minute. Watch for continuation with resistance around two fifty and three dollars. All right. Again, that flag could just completely break down. Or it might break up, watch for 250 resistance, and then see if it where it goes from there. But got to be a little bit concerned right here with the um, overextended on the hourly. Meat. All right. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I like, do I like that one? It's still running. Hmm, this one's still been running for a bit. Let's see. DRRX. Hmm, let's look over here in the daily. Very choppy with these wicks, though. Hmm, I don't like it. No. No. Let's get rid of these lines. Hmm. What is that right there? <clears throat> Three thirty-five ish. It's been. This is H M N Y. Piece of garbage. <laughs> uh. People love when this thing runs. It does run. It does pump and dump. You'll see it pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps. This one might be ready to, might get a pump out of this one. It's hovering right on top of the moving average lines. So. Yeah, put a, where is this here? Might be getting ready to break out or it might hit right in the 320s. It might, see this kind of like, it's almost like this. Uh, the long, I would say almost like a descending triangle, but <clears throat> kind of, it kind of is, but multiple bases over here. You can see kind of, let me do this over here. Some resistance there, kind of drilling down over here. Kind of down in these areas right here. So it's kind of been like this one continuous descending triangle. But if this breaks up, if it breaks 320, it could have a it could have a chance to get up to the 350-ish range if it pops. So it's worth putting on there again if it's just for day trading and you're just looking to scalp it. Might have a chance. Uh HMNY. Watch for potential pop if price can get above 320s 
might run up to 350-ish history of pumping. So this one has a history. Uh, obviously, if you see here, this thing, look at that. It has a history of pumping. So that's why I would consider putting it on there because it has a history of it. Just hasn't done anything for a while, but pumps and it dumps, right? Hope you aren't a bag holder of holding up here. Look at that, pumped up to 38 bucks all the way back down. Piece of garbage. So let's put HMNY. All right, let's take a look at these ones here. VSTM, no. Let's look at the hourly. Eh, don't love it. So no. Hmm. This one might have some potential. Let's take a look. Uh, let's get some resistance right at that 485, a little too close for comfort. No. Uh, maybe. It said three plus green days. Got to be careful after three plus green days. Look for the shorts to potentially come in. It said four green days, so this might be a potential short at some point. It's not too overextended, though, but it's broaching it down over here. So, yeah, not going to put that one on. Um, nope. Nope. No. Hmm. Looks like that might be a five cent spread stock. I don't like those. And no to this one. So this is the bullish scan. Let's see for the bearish scan, nightly scan. Bearish, there we go. <clears throat> Not as many on this one. So there might be more potential bullish plays than bearish. Does not mean we're in a bullish market, but just might um, have more potential pops to the bullish side than the bearish as of right now. That's just for these penny stocks, but I wouldn't trust them on a, you know, again, with swing trading and stuff right now, it's very difficult to take a long side or a short side. I, it looks like you'd want to be more potentially more on the bearish side with that big descending triangle on the market. But again, anything can happen. These could be fake outs there. You could, um, you know, push back up, buyers can come back in and break that descending triangle pattern, but it's going to take a lot to do that. So as of right now, it's looking more potentially bearish. <coughs> KGC is gold. Look at that, right in that descending triangle. Um, right at the base of it right now, and that's gold. So you might expect, well, it would make sense because the market just got bought up, so that's why you could see it falling down. If the market starts to reverse again and starts falling back down, you might start to see the buyers come back in over here. Just too tough to play this right now. CETV. I mean, that's definitely bearish. <clears throat> Got some room to fall. Uh, it's a little bit oversold on the daily. How about on the hourly? Yeah, it's oversold there too. I would potentially take a short on something like this. It's just kind of a little bit, when it gets really oversold, I don't like that because I look for the buyers to come back in. So I'm not going to put that on right now. SGBL, that's gold as well. Don't like that pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like these. Nope. Hmm. Oh, look at that one, huh? Right here. <clears throat> so on the daily, you'll see it was falling down over here, but something happened like right after market. Bought right back up to 550. So, yeah, I don't like that pattern, but would have potentially liked it for a put if it wasn't for that. This one's falling below all the moving average lines. Let's see, EBR. Really oversold. Let's look at the hourly. 
oversold. Has still some room to fall, but a little too oversold for me on a put side. Uh, <clears throat> nah. ECBFF. I mean, here you go. Perfect example, guys, right? You guys all heard, oh, marijuana stocks, marijuana stocks, marijuana stocks, right? ACBFF, really supposedly one of the top um, <coughs> Canadian ones. If these stocks are so reputable, why do they go all the way up to 12 bucks and then they're back down to five? You know, you got to be careful of these. They're pumping dumps, right? Until they prove uh, no hatred against uh, pot stocks whatsoever, you can make a lot of money with them. But when everybody says, oh, buy them, buy them, buy them, Canada's legalizing weed, well, if they're legalizing weed and they're going to be great stocks, why do they do this? Why do they go up to 12 bucks and then they drop all the way back and give half their gains down, right? To give you another example, I don't even have to know, real low, I don't even know what this stock looks like. TWMJF, right? Top Canadian one. Look at that's done, right? Gone up to $35, pumped all the way up, right? Look, flat line, pumped, right? Comes back down here. And you get this long pump. You get everybody sucked in, right? 35 bucks down to 20 bucks. That's almost half the gains, right? It's nothing good about this stock right now. It's just falling, right? So that's why you got to be careful with just people pumping and dumping, right? I don't know what Bitcoin's doing. Let's take a look at Bitcoin while we're at it. Bitcoin, there you go. You can see this double top pattern over here. Look where it's falling. So Bitcoin, right? It's the future. Got to buy, 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 right? Buying the dip, buying the dip. What's it doing? Nothing but dipping, <laughs> right? So where do you like, I mean, we were, if you watch our videos from going back the past couple months, we got a lot of hate for this. by when I was just showing people the charts, right? I was showing charts, I don't know, somewhere even back down and I think somewhere in this area, like be careful, be careful, be careful. You know, people getting mad at me for saying, like, why am I hating on Bitcoin? I don't hate on Bitcoin. I was just telling you the charts, right? You see bear flag, bear flag, bear flag, double top, double top, bear flag, bear flag, bear flag, bear flag. Where do you buy on something like this? This is support down over here. <clears throat> so maybe if it hits $6,000, you might, uh, you know, that might be a time to potentially buy if the buyers show, like, there's a reversal coming. But look, this is a huge double top pattern. It's just falling, right? So... I mean, where are you buying something like this? It's not throwing hate hate on anything. It's just showing you guys that's why you never buy on hype. You have to know your charts. You have to know your patterns. Glaringly obvious double top pattern. That is bearish. You can see the base over here, base down here, base down here. And look, price is going down. Who knows if it's going to touch it, but look, you know, it's heading really right down to the base of it textbook right this is not us being throwing hatred it's just us showing you charts and what is actually happening so there you go that's what bitcoin but if uh this base cracks down here if six thousand breaks and that falls look out that ain't good uh let's a couple more here not liking much of any of this stuff here again you know it's tough to put a watch list together in something like <coughs> this type of market because um, it's not choosing a direction, right? You want a market to choose a direction up or down. We don't mind if it goes down. We'll trade it and do uh, either short stocks or buy puts, right? Or if you don't like shorting or you have a trouble with uh, a broker um, with shorting, you can always dip buy, right? Buy at support levels when a stock falls to support levels and then use those moving average lines and other areas as resistance. So if you don't like to short, you could always do that. Dip buy. Um, uh, that one, yeah, see, they're all just fallen. You know, it's very oversold right now. So it's tough. The reason why I won't put that necessarily as a put on the watch list is because it could easily get a pop. It doesn't mean I feel like it's going to go crazy. But when it's oversold like this, it might get a pop. You know, buyers might come in tomorrow earlier and jack it up 20, 30, 40 cents, whatever. And then it's more of a long play, you know, <clears throat> but it's so it's kind of tough. It's kind of kind of tough to trade those. And. Yeah, see oversold area. So we have a few to look at. That's why we always recommend trade ideas. Again, it's a live scanner, right? So we have no clue what the market's going to do tomorrow. Nobody knows what the market's going to do. You can do all the guessing you want in the world. 
it could go up or it could go down or it could trade sideways, right? That's why you want a scanner and to be able to uh, scan for potential plays. So if you're day trading, obviously a live scanner is really good uh, for finding those plays. We like trade ideas, um, but uh, <clears throat> if you're more of like a swing trade scanner or a swing trader, uh, we're huge fans of Market Club. I'll show you where our links are for both of those. But this is the watch list. There's a few to look at tomorrow. Don't love them. Again, it's hard to love anything unless it's choosing a direction up or down. And right now it's choosing to go sideways. Uh, so, again, if you're not a member of our community on Facebook, come and join us. We are the Bullish Bears. Uh, feel free to like and follow our fan page as well. Um, if you haven't been over to our website, head over to bullishbears.com. Just while I'm thinking of it, if you do go down here, you'll see here Trade Ideas banner. Uh, we have the links below in this video as well. So whether you're on our website or you click the links below, you'll see we have Trade Ideas. If you click on this banner or the, click the link below, uh, if you put in Bullish Bears 15 in all caps at checkout, you get a 15% discount. Trade Ideas is by far our favorite scanner. We absolutely love it. But again, if you're doing more swing trading and stuff like that, um, just click right here or a market club. Um, they're about half the price or so of trade ideas. So they're definitely lower priced. Uh, if you're more, again, of a swing trader or a long term scanner, you can use it for day trading as well. Uh, trade ideas is better for day trading, but you can kind of tweak the scan and stuff like that for day trading. But it's more really good for like swing trading and options uh, over here. And they give you a nice trial over here. I think it's like a dollar trial. So Market Club is real good, but these are our two scanners of choice that, choice that we like to recommend. And so yeah, when you're on our website, um, again, a few things to take a look at. We are posting several times a week our content. Uh, so especially with our candlestick videos, make sure you read the posts that go along with it. So we're doing posts that coincide with the videos. You'll see we did our we do our trade alert recaps each week. Um, even in this crappy market, we're still doing about an 80% win ratio, which ain't bad, uh, considering it's difficult to uh, to trade in these um, indecision modes. So, you know, like when you're over here, if you click on one of our um, posts, you'll see right here the follow button. If you click on follow and put your email there, it lets you know when notifies you when we do post. Uh, kind of like what like YouTube does. It's just like a um, <clears throat> A notification so again we're always trying to put out really good content to help you guys um so you know stay tuned with our blog and watch our stuff that we put over on our blog we, again we try to put a bunch of content over there uh we have our day trading room and our swing trading room over here so depending what type of trader you are um come and join our trade room each day you know come in uh shadow other traders open a virtual account where you can't stress that enough to practice especially in markets like this that are trading sideways Trade with a virtual account until you feel comfortable, and then not only feel uncomfortable, but until you're successful, that you're trading successfully, then start trading with real money and scale your way up, right? So again, you know, you can take our watch list that we're sending out each night with our trade alerts, pick the room of your choosing, practice in your virtual account, watch what people, you know, talk about in the rooms. Many people are talking about stuff, live market action, uh, what's actually happening. And, uh, you know, practice making those trades in a virtual account and see how to trade, right? That's a really good way to do it is practice in a trade room and shadowing other traders. Uh, read about our trade alerts over here and how they work if you're not familiar. Um, again, our trade alerts are much different than other companies. We are all about trying to help you to become your own good trader and not making you rely upon us. And almost done here. We have a few thousand dollars worth of free courses over here. Make sure you take them. Uh, again, we'll be adding our candlestick courses soon. I have the first one pretty much done, but I'm like kind of trying to tweak it with pictures and add stuff all in it. So probably in the next week or so, I'll have it up for the first one done. And then we'll put the second one underneath here as well. And then this members only section uh, for members only, we're putting our content back here. This is where we'll also end up probably putting our somewhere around here. or we'll probably put a page underneath here for maybe like candlesticks, uh, ebook or something like that where we will be putting under here when we release it. But we have a ton of content. If you look over here on members only videos, <clears throat> you'll see over here, look at all these videos over here. That's just private video content. 
that we don't have under our free courses or our YouTube, right? So lots of other stuff in here uh, that we'll be continually adding to. Um, again, and if you aren't a member, you know, just to show you guys here, <coughs> we say it over and over, 10 bucks a month. Um, for whoever said it today in the trade room, I, they said that uh, I'm getting in their in their head that we're the cost of only the we're only the cost of a Netflix payment, <laughs> but it's true, right? Ten bucks a month, Netflix, right? You start to forget about it. Um, so again, ten bucks, make it affordable. I'd like to say for everybody, but some people, ten bucks a month is not affordable. Um, if ten bucks isn't affordable, not to be insulting, but it's probably be hard to be a good trader if you're not able to afford ten bucks. So again, not to be insulting, but um, if you're going to be a trader, you need at least ten bucks a month minimum to be uh, to trade successfully. So I'll put it that way. So again, ten bucks a month, all of this content, and we're going to be adding more um, on top of it. And uh, again, that's it. Last, that's pretty much what I got for you today. Subscribe to our YouTube, watch these videos. Um, you don't have to wait for our courses to watch the videos. Look, you can start right back over here. Oh man, way back over here. Look at this. Look at all these ones are all up here. All just on very important candlestick videos. And I still have another 20 more to go. If you're saying <clears throat> that's very overwhelming, that's way too much. Well, <laughs> welcome to the world of trading because all of these patterns are important. You can't skip and be like, hey, I only want to know five or ten patterns. Well, you got to know and be aware of all of them because you want to know when reversals are happening and how they're being set up, right? So we're going to start getting into the reversal videos um, very shortly. Actually, I'm starting to um, put them out here. You know, Haramis, engulfing patterns, piercing patterns right here, dark cloud. These are starts to potential reversals. Um, the start to them, a lot of the two pattern ones that are going to lead to more of the three pattern ones for confirming of the reversal. So, so subscribe to our YouTube right here. Click the notification bell, all that good stuff. That's our watch list for tomorrow. Stay tuned, and hopefully this market will eventually take a uh, make a decision to trade and go one way or the other real soon. So stay tuned, and happy trading tomorrow. Enjoy.